finally this week, North Korea. Earth's Florida. <laughs> Next month is the 70th anniversary of Korea's Liberation Day, the date marking the end of Japanese colonial rule. And I guess the big question is, what do you get the country that is ordered to think it has everything? Well, <laughs> apparently, Kim Jong-un has decided that for the first time ever, a foreign rock band will play there. So, who's it going to be? Uh, Rolling Stones? Uh, U2? Uh, a Michael Jackson impersonator passed off as the real thing because North Koreans don't know he's dead yet? <laughs> well, well, no. Because it turns out it's going to be, and this is true, a Slovenian art rock group called Liebach. And if you're not familiar with them, this is the happy celebratory music that North Koreans will be listening to on their special anniversary. Europe is falling apart. might seem like an odd choice, but, but you, can, you can understand what totalitarian dictator Kim Jong-un might see in them when you watch their video, Dance with Liebach. Of course Kim Jong-un loves this band! <laughs> That video is basically his answer to, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I, I don't know, probably leading a skeleton army into battle, if, if all goes well. Now, you, you probably won't be surprised uh, to learn that Liebach has been accused of glorifying fascism in the past, to which their response has been, we are fascists as much as Hitler was a painter, which I assume means they are fascists, they're just very, very bad at it. But, but before you worry that their music might be too much of a downer for the people of North Korea, please note that Liebach promised the programme will also feature, and this is true, them reinterpreting songs from the sound of music. <laughs> Which, yes, sounds a little weird, but actually wouldn't be the first time they've brought that fun Liebach touch to other people's music. I give you their absolutely inexplicable cover of Sympathy for the Devil. <laughs> We have an answer to the question, what if Freddie Mercury was trapped in a cave, had just swallowed a frog, and was trying to sing it out? <laughs> I, I've got to say, North Korea seems like a terrifying place to visit, but if it is really true that that guy is going to be singing The Sound of Music, I kind of want to go there. <laughs> I need to hear him bark about whiskers on kittens. <laughs> and now, this. And now.